Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on VBNet. Today, um, in the previous video, we show you how to calculate, uh, create calculator application in VB.net, and um, we um, we create the user interface. As you can see, some of the buttons not working. So in this uh, in this tutorial, we will add the functionality to these buttons. So let's get started. Just click on the plus button and start right. A variable which will hold operator value so we will give it the name operator string because it will be a string a string equal to plus uh, sorry it should be plus there we go the reason it's it's a plus button, so I'll just give it a plus button, uh, plus sign, or plus string. The second variable we will create is is to see whether is the first number available. Usually, what happen when you click on plus, it will save the first number and then let you into the second number, and which we will later add. So to, to find that is the first number available, we need that bo bo boolean. Now if the first number is available, it should be bool. Now if the first number is available or is not available, sorry for this, then just create a new variable which will hold the first number whichever one is entered into the text box so that will be the decimal value and we will convert whatever in the text box which is usually the string to to decimal c type means just convert from string to decimal so just add whatever or save whatever to the first number decimal and make that first number is equal to true because it is is first number is now available and to enter second number just make text box dot text equal to zero so as i said only do this operation if the first number is not available and also initialize it because at the f at first pass it will be false because there will be no value for the first number so just adding the comment save the current number which is be there in the text box and make the first decimal number decimal as is available now and reset the screen or text box to zero to enter the second number so there we go we add the first functionality now we will add equal uh, from there is the equal button so only do it the first thing we need to do is is to check is the first number available if the first number is available then add the current num uh, number into the second variable which we will declare here is first number available no first number boolean then but the problem is we don't have access to that boolean which is true so the the best thing is to write is as a global variable so private is first number bool as boolean and then initialize it initialize it in the 
low, uh, from low even make it false at the start there we go now we will declare a second number decimal variable which will hold the second number and just to convert that to the decimal C type calculate text box dot text and comma decimal there we go now next thing we need to do is to do the operation for the time being I'm doing that and to find the result uh, the result of the calculation of the two numbers so result decimal will hold, hold that value but for that we need to know which what is the operator so operator string if operator string is equal to plus then do this operation complete the int and if as you can see we are we don't have access to do uh, those variable operator string first decimal number because they are in the other functions so we will declare them as a global variable and the last thing is to display that the result in the text box and just add two string to it to make the decimal into string so this will go as a global variable and the first number and the second number we will need it for some other operations later on so just declare them all as a global variables as decimal private second num decimal you may be wondering why I declared them as private not public well by default they will be public but from OP concept encapsulation they should be private otherwise you can make them public as well doesn't matter but from the OOP concept we need to do that now uh, remove all the dims because it's already declared there we go no need for that either so now we will just something is wrong with that name maybe we so just copy and paste it here and the result will show there so now just save everything and run the application plus add 3 and equal to 28 so we're getting what we want now we will add the same functionality to to other buttons but as you can see this code is restricted we will create a function which will give us all the operations for each and every button so create a new fun um, a sub, a sub instead of function sub we can create function function as well but here I will use sub calculate result we will supply it four variables the first number as decimal second number as decimal The third num uh, third would be third parameter will be the operator as string, and the fourth will be by reference because we want to to return a value because it's a sub rather than the thing. So we uh, rather than the function. So now we will write a select case, which will take 
based uh, make its decision based on op a operator variable which is a string so if the case is plus and do that operation minus same for multiplication we will add code in a few minutes division and multiplication Add multiplication that is start for multiplication but now so in this the first in the case of addition a result will be a first number plus a second number now a result in the case of minus will be a first number minus a second number sorry a second number or oh, num now just copy it and add it to the rest of the code division and multiplication there you go so now just remove the code which we which is redundant like in this case this if statement we don't need we may need result decimal but yeah we need the result decimal which will come as output to us after the operation so we need that variable here it does nothing just we just supplying it to the func uh, to the sub routine and it will return the value in it as the last parameter is by reference operator and then end result so we have supplied all the required information and it will return us reserve decimal and which we will then show on it in the text box so now save everything one last thing we need to do is to add a function cut this code to check is the first number because we will need that for all the other uh, buttons as well minus multiplication and division so just write a generic function which we will use in all, all the cases or maybe in the future uh, some other cases if we need to and just add that code here and now copy just to co uh, copy the name and just add it there that's all we need to do it will check if the first number available if it is then it will ignore that code and there we go it's still working now we will add functionality to the rest of the button just copy it from here all you need to change is the operator string in this case it will be minus in the case it will be multiplication so star and in the end forward slash for division and that's it to save everything now please keep in mind it has some problems as you can see it's working and you see now is problem we will fix that in the next video but, but i'll show you that currently all the fun all the buttons multiplication division mul subtraction or everything is working in this case 44 as you can see just turn it off and five as you can see something is wrong and there we go as well so as you can see we have created this application now most of the functionality is complete but now to tweak it further please keep watching thanks now